Hello and welcome everyone to another episode on our series where we're interviewing students from the top e schools all across India. Today we have with us Charudat Malhara from JBIMS Mumbai. Hi and welcome Charudat. Glad to have you on. Hi, hi. Thank you so much for having me here. Really pleasure. It's it's honestly our pleasure. So uh, Charudat before we begin with uh, some of the questions about your institute can you give us a small profile on how uh, your your background and how you got into JBIMS? Okay, okay. So, uh, first of all, thank you so much uh, to the entire team of College Junior for having me here. Um, it's it's really, I really find it great that I'm able to help the aspirants and the students. Uh, so, about my profile, I did my graduation in commerce. I did BCom uh, from mm-hmm. a place called uh, Jalgaon in Maharashtra. It's from an average college. But mm-hmm. after that, I was I did my masters from TISS. So, I did social entrepreneurship from TISS, mm-hmm. and uh, I started a social enterprise. And mm-hmm. at that time, I realized that uh, there there are some more skills that I need to hone. I need mm-hmm. to work upon. and mm-hmm. uh, that is when i decided to pursue a masters again uh, a mba and i think mm-hmm. mba is a course that helps each and everyone even if you want to work in the corporates or not if you if you want to get into uh, start the world or anything so that is why i think i went for a mba and mm-hmm. why specifically hr because uh, my social enterprise was also in some or the other way linked to hr there mm-hmm. it had some pieces of hr so that is when i decided that i need to pursue my masters uh, mm-hmm. and that is about my background i have uh, around 15 months of experience i worked with hcl tech so mm-hmm. uh, that is my experience and background that, that's very interesting that you did social entrepreneurship and tech it's it's one of the few institutes in india that offer social entrepreneurship and it's probably the most yes. leading the a uh, course in uh, okay. so uh, there's this a uh, one uh, thing that i've heard about the program in fact that uh, it, it's a requirement i think in your second year or so to start with a social entrepreneurship and so is, is that a thing yes yes so as a pilot project we are supposed to start a social enterprise and test yeah. that and it's funded by the institute if i'm not wrong Uh, no money we <laughs> we have to put in but uh, yes they they take care of all the uh, resources they'll get you the best faculty uh, they'll yeah. help you with the complete pitch desk and all of that all right all right hmm. that that's fantastic so uh, uh okay now moving on to let's say gabens like you got in uh, in 2021 uh, and so you're in your final year right now so what what's yes. been your uh, overall experience with gabens compared to tis um see gbms is like a dream campus to be very honest uh, it is located in the heart of the city of mumbai in the very south mumbai and i'm very uh, you know I mean, it was studying here was actually like a dream come true because people like legends have studied in the same building. To be honest, uh, and the they're CEO all uh, CEO factory exactly, and people like big names. I don't even have to tell them. All of them have studied from JBIMS, and it was great to study here. Uh, the physical infrastructure of the college may not be the best, but when it comes to the intellectual infrastructure, I think that's amazing because kind the kind of alumni network that we get. I mean, we get go anywhere. Will any company will find someone from JBM is there, and the alumni network is amazing. Uh, the the kind of fac- faculties that we have, they are also amazing. So we have only four, three or four uh, in-house faculties. Rest of them are all visiting uh, people from all the industries. So you know that way it hel- it helps a lot. People coming from Tata, from Shapoji Palanji, from Reliance, from Godrej, they are all coming and teaching us HR fundamentals. That was amazing experience altogether. And uh, yeah, I mean that is uh, it was really great studying there. That's okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, well, since you mentioned the alumni in this thing, the uh, uh, JBIMS has a very small batch. I, if I'm not wrong, you guys had a batch strength of around 30 or so. Do you think that was detrimental yes. to your this thing, or do you think that was more positive? What I would say is, when it comes to uh, the faculty, we get to spend a lot of time one on one. that is one thing i feel uh, that is really great second uh, group dynamics could also be great because they are, since the batch is really small everyone knows everyone uh, we can learn from each other so that way it was nice but sometimes since i also part of the placement committee i think uh, through perspective of uh, the placements if a bigger batch size is there a uh, company has a greater pool of students to choose from 
so uh, that is when i think it could have been uh, better if there are more students but 30 is also fine uh, that is also i mean it has its pros and cons mm mm-hmm. So, uh, since yeah. you mentioned you were part of the placement committee uh, uh how, how, what is that function like how many members are part of the placement committee in events so there are like around 4 to 5 students uh, okay. in the placement committee uh, mm-hmm. it is to, it is elected and selected so we have a pro- election process also and uh, the the faculty also recommends some students whom they think are suitable for this mm-hmm. and uh, but you know when you are when you come from a campus called jb uh, placements mm-hmm. are comparatively smooth even though we are in the fourth year this course mm-hmm. is fourth year uh, it becomes very easy because uh, when we go to the industries and we we ask them we we pitch them for our uh, placements mm-hmm. uh, they are very happy to come to our campus mm-hmm. uh, though we may not be the best so far uh, still uh, there is a long way to go but mm-hmm. i think uh, that these placements are uh, fine so far fantastic that's really great to hear especially for the newer uh, this day so charila about uh, your uh, time at uh, clubs and committees let's say your placement committee what other activities were you part of at your uh, during your time at jbom so i was part so we started our i was interested in entrepreneurship as i said i right. did my social school. so we started our own club uh, we started a club which focused on entrepreneurship and social entrepreneurship there is also a pr committee which looks after all the uh, all the media related things and they look after uh, make ensuring that the course is reaching out to the maximum students and we are doing a good uh, social awareness then there are csr committees is there there is mm-hmm. a consulting club in the campus as so there are many clubs and uh, in case if someone is interested to start their own club mm-hmm. uh, so uh, admin is very open about it and they are very free so that opportunity also you have mm-hmm. uh, and do you how did you manage between all these things let's say your placement committee your academics and then you have your other like what is it do you think uh, isn't that very hectic how how do you deal with that especially coming from like say a different background than uh, mm-hmm. from social entrepreneurship background to mba So when I was doing my first masters, uh, I was chilling most of the time. I was just roaming, bunking <laughs> classes. And when I decided to pursue my next masters, I ensured that I am very active in in extracurriculars and I right. participate in competition. Because otherwise, mm-hmm. the, if you don't participate in these things, if you are not part of committees, then I don't think MBA is of any worth. Because that mm-hmm. is when you get to work with people, you explore new ideas. so mm-hmm. every week i used to participate in each and every uh, competition on unstop so i used to just go there and sign up for all the competitions i used to whatever opportunity was coming on campus i was applying even though mm-hmm. sometimes i got selected sometimes i didn't get selected mm-hmm. uh, so that was my approach i mean this time i want, i am also doing some research work so i thought jo bhi hoga i have to do everything mm-hmm. and uh, i allocated time uh, i didn't I am ensured that this time I chill a little less, but focus a lot on these areas. Mm-hmm. So that was my uh, plan of action in the campus. So there's an old saying about MBA: you have three choices between which you can take only two, uh, three options among which you can take two: work life, social hmm. life, and sleep. Which two did you take? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my god i didn't sleep a lot uh, there are a lot of dark circles really? which you want to see uh, yep. social life i had a little bit but uh, yeah the third option is so uh... <laughs> well, what was it like what is your sleep schedule like oh my god so you know we we used to get so the very first week when we come to campus uh, jb is known for its induction process they have a very rigorous uh, process i won't tell you much about it let the students come and they'll uh, they'll get to experience it but we used to get uh, we used to get assignments at like around 12 in the night and then we had to submit that at 5 and we used to get another assignment at 2 in the night 3 in the night so mm. that is the kind of uh, the way they were preparing us for the next two years so right. uh, life at jbms is very hectic uh, you need this was to conducted by class. the faculty is it or was it by a student no 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 so the seniors <laughs> the seniors <laughs> the faculties won't do such a thing but the seniors they they did that and uh, <laughs> even when we come to classes we have to be on time you know if it's 9 am class 7 am class you have to be there even if you are 1 minute late you'll have to 
go back all the way so people in mumbai they travel up one hour uh, they have to travel two two hours and many times they were late so they had to all, go all the way so that way it disciplines you for life that is mm-hmm. what i would say uh, it makes you uh, you change completely when you're doing an mba from a college like jb you you change completely wow and, and so if you had to put a number to the number of average hours of sleep you get we always hear these terms of like say 4 hours sleep day 5 hours sleep day do you think it's yours is somewhere around those no i mean some days we we slept a lot uh, we, we slept <laughs> like 2 3 days in a row but uh, average 6 hours 6 hours 7 hours so something yeah okay that's fair and since you mentioned that uh, some students had uh, if you weren't on time let's say you had to go back was there anything like a um, minimum attendance and what would be the repercussions if you didn't meet that so uh, minimum attendance is 75% you have to okay. have those many hours and uh, you need to you know Uh, in in case if you don't attend then there are many repercussions uh, you may be out of the placement process you could be wow. or they could uh, yeah because mba if you're not in the placement process it's not worth doing an mba exactly right? so that's the most important thing so if you don't attend your classes you'll be out of the placement process or the many uh, admin is very creative in repercussions <laughs> so <laughs> they'll they'll ensure that the pgp you know, office is always creative about attendance <laughs> yes yes and uh, were there any uh, particular favorite uh, courses that you had or any particular faculty that comes to mind when you think back on your two years um there are many actually uh, at least uh, so there is one called uh, boman moradian who is one of the uh, very famous persons from jb he is an alum Mm-hmm. and he's around uh, 60 70 his age is around 60 70 he has a lot of experience about the supply chain so he's a supply chain guru and uh, he's very blunt when he talks he's like very honest in opinions he'll he'll use abusive words but the kind of knowledge that he brings into the table and the experience that he has it goes amazing i mean we were like sir humko aur classes de do aapke we really wanted to wow. study more from him because usually we are like we don't want classes we are bored and <laughs> this guy was really amazing uh, there were a few more so there was someone from consultancies uh, people who have worked in eon who have worked with uh, big consultancy firm like uh, conferry and mm-hmm. uh, gallup and all so there was one person from there who is uh, ashish ambasta he was also amazing he, he was the one who strict who told me about so i came to his class three times late and he was very, very angry and all of that but again he was uh, his classes were really uh, interesting uh, we also got some exam uh, assignments recently on chat gpt so now people chat gpt now the ass- okay yeah So the professors wow. they know right that we are using wow. ChatGPT. Uh, so this professor, one of them, uh, the Mr. Atul Patankar. So what he did was he made us use Chat Chat ChatGPT, and then based on that we had to come up with some conclusions and come up with some assignments. So that way I think the faculty is very advanced. I mean advanced as in they are aware of what is happening in the world, and mm-hmm. based on that the assignments were also pretty cool. that's actually fantastic this chatgpt hasn't been around for that very long that it's already yeah. in your curriculum and already been implemented. that's really fantastic mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. and any uh, particular favorite courses that come to mind so uh, as such i don't have anything favorite per se but yeah everything was good in its own ways mm-hmm. some were really boring but yeah otherwise it was fine okay Uh, going back to my earlier question of the two choices between the three, you said uh, you chose the social and work life, let's say. So, oh, how was your social life like at uh, Jibins? Because you are at the heart of the city. There's everything at your doorstep, and the fee at Jibins is also not that very large. So, I'm expect hmm. I'm at least from the outside perspective, we expect that you'd have a lot of cash to spend. So, where would you go? So the first destination is Marine Drive. So it's just five Marine minutes Drive. walking from our place, and that is like we used to be there most of the time. Then there are a few more joints near our place where we used to go for snacks. There is this chai person, chai tapri we call him tapri. So that mm-hmm. is where we used to go for food. And um, you know there is another oval meadan. So there is this ground near our place, mm-hmm. uh, near our co- college. Uh, so people who wanted to play sports, uh, they used to go there. Mm-hmm. So those are the areas we usually uh, went. 
and and what would you do to relax at the end of such a hectic tight day just come home and sleep on the bed that's it there's <laughs> no other there's nothing else that we did actually so we had some medic uh, some meditation and yoga classes also so mhrd okay. they introduced to some meditation classes in the morning uh, mm-hmm. which were kind of relaxing they helped us in some way uh, mm-hmm. but yeah the best way was to come home and sleep that's all i mean <laughs> nothing else could so uh, your classes would run from like say 9 or something to around 3ish and then sometimes we the classes started at the started in the morning at 7 and when, uh, yeah we we because since uh, this is like a covid batch and we started right. like around 5 to 6 months late so mm-hmm. we had to cover the two years syllabus in 16 18 months mm-hmm. so that is why we had classes from 7 in the morning sometimes it went till 10 in the night as well but usually from 9 to 4 5 is the uh, normal time that we had Oh wow so you guys have already busy mba even more compressed yes yes wow uh, is this the same even for the future batches or is it just for the 21 to 23 batch that uh, no it was only for our batch or we only had the yeah. for the next batch it is comparatively uh, chill and it's more relaxed in that way mm-hmm. but it's really fantastic that you guys got to have the whole uh, mba at uh, an offline mode because uh, that that's the complaint that a lot of students have been saying about that mba experience let's say that they mm-hmm. had to do part of it online and they were very happy about that no so first year we had online the second okay. year was offline yeah the first year happened okay. off, online yeah okay from okay. december to june we had online classes <laughs> mm. okay makes sense And and yeah. do you say uh, are you a, a local from Maharashtra or? Uh... Yeah, I'm a local from Maharashtra. Okay, so mm-hmm. another thing JBMs is very famous for is obviously the All India reservation for seats and at. Yeah. <laughs> so uh-huh. uh, do you think that has ever played a role or has ever has it ever come up in your classrooms? Uh, so uh, for our batch, for HR batch, we didn't have any such reservation. So okay. for the finance and marketing guys, they have that ten percent reservation and ninety percent of the seats are reserved for Maharashtra students, if I'm not mm-hmm. wrong. But for HR, that's not the case. We had students from all the parts of the country, and for the mm-hmm. junior batch, we have people from. Jammu Kashmir we have people from South India we have people from North India so that way diversity is improving i would say in jb as well wow so uh, is is this thing that uh, only for the hr batch there was no uh, reservation and is it yeah, same for the yeah. future batches or is it just for uh... yes 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 so i, I think they have changed some uh, admission process uh, some admission rules this year i'm not okay. really sure about it about the coming upcoming batches but till our batch it was like this understood understood uh, and uh, so i think we've covered covered a lot of the gamut of uh, uh, life at uh, jbim so when when you're almost done with mba right? you have a few months or so left at your whole thing so when you look back let's say what what comes to your mind what what sticks out like okay wow that was something i'm happy i'm very relieved that uh, i could be part of such an institute to be very honest mm-hmm. and i i feel i mean i got lucky in a way getting into jbm why do you say so of, i mean uh, there are so many brilliant yeah. students who work really hard and just mm-hmm. about one day when you give that exam if score mm-hmm. really comes well so that way i feel i'm lucky in that way but also at the same time i feel uh, it was really worth it studying here two years it has changed completely changed me not just professionally but also personally mm-hmm. uh, the way we deal with friends you know so mm-hmm. many emotions going on you 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 are also doing mba right you might be like right. so many things happening and there's a lot of group dynamism that keeps right. on happening and when you're part of the placement committee uh, that that pressure is always there on you from yes. the students the seniors from the admin so mm-hmm. that was uh, it was amongst the best two years of my life uh, wow. truly i mean uh, i it was really good uh, if it would have been offline two years it would have been better i would mm-hmm. say but still this was a great experience that that's really fantastic to hear that that is it. 
uh, are there any stories that come to your mind from your time that you could share with us orientation again our induction process was something that was very rigorous and uh, so we you know uh, since our course also has the yoga and meditation thing one of our seniors he was uh, he was taking up a yoga session Mm-hmm. and then i was also there but i was not paying attention to it because it was really boring and <laughs> and then the senior was the taking the yoga session, session for you i'm sorry yeah one of the seniors was taking okay. the yoga session okay yeah okay. one of the seniors and they were just guiding us as in how two years would look at look like in jb and this is how you your day will be and then he was taking up the surya namaskars and all of that and then suddenly he he points at me he stops the yoga session and he's like charu that tell me what is the name of this uh, step what is the name of that step and it was i mean uh, it was funny for me we still uh-huh. laugh at it so that was uh, yeah fun moments uh, friends also it was really good because as i said people were from across the country right so mm-hmm. uh, people from south india they they mm-hmm. used to bring in their own food when they're coming here when mm-hmm. it was nice i mean overall uh, it was a good uh, time that's great that's really great to hear and so if you look at the other side of it if you had to suggest something to jbims to like say that they could improve upon that they could change what would that be i don't know if i'm allowed to say this but i think <laughs> infrastructure is something uh, they can work upon uh, because infrastructure they could work upon they they're doing that doing their things but i think it's it's among the top colleges in india and if infrastructure is not good it it some way it, you know it's not very it doesn't give a very pleasant experience when you're studying at the campus mm-hmm. um otherwise uh, i think otherwise it's all fine i have to be a little diplomatic here but yeah that's uh, <laughs> that's fair enough good. that's um, fair enough but i mean being 5 minutes or 10 minutes away from marina i must make up for a lot of that yes absolutely right. and and when we when the alumni come to the campus right and we get when we get to meet them and we when we see that okay this guy also studied from our campus and he is leading such an organization mm-hmm. you feel really proud and mm-hmm. and since the time i've come into jbms people really respect me a lot i mean there is a lot of change in the uh, psychological uh, way the people look at us you know so mm-hmm. that ways i'm very thankful to the institute because uh, mm-hmm. wherever i go people are like jb say wow and you know that kind of respect i'm very happy about that that's really great uh, okay so a uh, one last question to you let's say um any any word of advice to our viewers out there who want to let's say think of pursuing their mba from given any word of advice so uh, i would say if you're coming doing an mba ensure that you participate in all the opportunities that come to your campus mm-hmm. uh, be part of some of the other committee if you are good at sports be part of the sports committee or csr or pa or whatever if you are interested in entrepreneurship go for it mm-hmm. and because these two years won't come back uh, not everyone does a double masters on the so what i would suggest is uh, make sure that you're giving everything and if you're going to a good college whatever your professors are saying just blindly follow it because they are there because of some reason we might at that time we might think that it's it's not making sense or something but in the end you'll know that whatever they said in some or the other ways it was for your good and so that is what i would say just blindly follow them give your two years to them let them do whatever you want and uh, completely be uh, you know be part of the process it will really be amazing and you after the end of two years you'll you'll have a great time that's that's really great thank thank you so much sharu that's for joining us here today uh, i'm thank sure so we shared a lot of experience about jbms that will be very useful to all the users out there so thank you so much sharu that once again thank you so much all the best to all of them